Hi, Scorpio. I hope that everybody's doing well. Before we get into it, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated, and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. For some of you, it looks like there's something going on related to your past. This can be a past experience. It can be a person, too. It seems like something may even be replaying in your head. It looks like something that you don't feel great about. Something in the environment may be triggering this. I am seeing it be related to your past. And like some something that was unpleasant that you were going through. And like something that you may have even gotten away from. But it's like now because of something that's going on. Like in the environment even. It's somehow like even bringing up old memories or feelings about something. Queen of Cups. Okay. So you're emotionally, intuitively feeling connected to something that's going on, but part of you, it's like your heart may be in one place, maybe your mind feels like it's in another. It seems like you're having some... Okay. This could be happening or you could be thinking about doing this. Um, there's a potential reunion that you could be having with someone or for some of you it's like you could be seeing family members or something like that. It's like seeing people that at least at one point in time you had been familiar with. And maybe you'd even been invited somewhere, but I'm seeing there be some type of conflict. So I don't know if maybe you're not like feeling at ease with this group of people um, or this person, or maybe you just feel, like, conflicted in general about meeting up with, with someone or, like, being back in the environment with certain people. There are definitely people that you have emotional connections to, but I'm seeing, like, there's, there's another side of the story. For some of you, this can even be, like, a parent or an old boss or job or something like that. Yeah, it seems like there's some type of linking up or even meeting up. This can be like some type of masculine figure in your life. So it can be like a parent for some or an old boss, co-workers, family members, a friend, someone even that you dated in the past, something like that. This could have even been someone that like may have financially supported you in some way in the past. I'm seeing double threes here with the three of cups right below it is the three of pentacles. Yeah, this can be something casual just as much as it can be work related. It seems like some type of decision is going to need to be made. You may kind of feel like you have no other choice than to be like working with this person or these or this group of people. And this is all about how like you take the lead and take charge and take control of the situation. Otherwise, it might fall into the hands of someone else. So it's like if you jump on this, you're kind of going to be able to like guide this experience. But if you don't, someone else may be doing it. And I don't know if you're going to particularly like the way that they do things. So it may like really be an opportunity for you to like take control maybe where you hadn't been feeling that before. Maybe you feel like it's your turn now or maybe that you're able to like step up in a way that you hadn't been able to before. It 
it's interesting for some of you this does look related to um to like something going on with like job or career and people that you're working with and you may be in charge of something and like because of certain abilities that you have or talents that you have or skills that you have things that you have like decided to explore and develop you're now very well suited to be in charge of whatever this is and before you may not have been feeling like that but it seems like something you've taken the time to explore and understand if these are just people in your casual life maybe you felt like you didn't have um I don't know, maybe something needed to be healed even within the heart chakra, or like some type of emotional develop even development even needed to be made. And I'm seeing that this has happened now with the three of wands above the ace of cups here. There could have even been like some unhealthy type of attachment that was going on with this person or this group of people. It's like maybe you just felt like it was an unhealthy environment and or situation. And like looking on it now, I'm getting like you for some reason you like now have a fresh perspective that you didn't have before. It's like you're able to see things that like maybe you weren't making the connections of before. Like I'm definitely seeing a sense of because something was cleared out with the heart chakra, um, something that something that may have been like abnormal or unhealthy that before like you didn't see it as that I'm hearing characterized now you do see it like that and there's a sense of like actually bring being able to bring balance to a situation that there had not been balance at least in a way that feels healthy to you um that hadn't existed before but now it seems like because you've gotten more in touch with yourself with what you're feeling and because you're like giving that play now there's a sense of being able to even correct a situation i am seeing this be related to it looks for everyone like this is some type of group of people but as i said before this can be work related or this can also be related to your personal life but yeah, it's like now you can see see like these people or the dynamics in a way that you hadn't been able to see before. And maybe now you feel like you're in a different place and maybe have even more authority than you did before. Like for for some of you, you may not have you may have like been around certain people and maybe been like financially dependent on them and now there's a sense of like maybe taking care of things financially so you don't have to compromise certain things. For others of you, if this had been like a work situation, I guess also if this had been, if this is something going on in your personal life, um, there's a sense of like taking a break from something. So you could be taking a break from a job from a partnership for some of you I'm hearing um, for something that you had been in charge of and maybe you're also learning more so how to focus on things like apart from money even or finances it's like maybe you even feel like your gaze has shifted a bit on things that feel more fulfilling to you and this can be too like changing the reasons why you're entering into certain spaces too it's like maybe you have different priorities now I'm getting too that in the past you could have felt more of a responsibility to work in whatever this is and you may not be feeling that so much anymore. Like maybe not feeling obligated. So because you step away from something, this does feel like some type of an environment or interaction you had been in. As you step away from this, you're able to look at it with the clarity that you hadn't been able to see before, but because of stepping back, you're able to now understand something that you needed to understand, and it's actually driving you towards something that you want. And it does feel like there's been some activation within the heart chakra. I'm also hearing the throat chakra. 
I'm looking at Libra and Capricorn here. I'm also looking at Pisces on the bottom of the deck. This could be working through something subconsciously as well. Sometimes too, when there has been pressure put on us or certain expectations from the time that we were young to like caretake or be like overly attentive to people, then like later on in our lives, we can feel like it's our responsibility to like meet other people's needs and stuff like that and kind of neglect our own. Just an example. And so it seems like there had been something that like maybe you felt like overly responsible for that now like maybe you even still feel that way but you're at least giving yourself the opportunity to like step back from something but yeah you could have even like had some sort of dependency on on someone or something that now you have the ability to back away from. I am looking at the High Priestess here. So this can be about gaining an awareness that you didn't have about like self-sabotage, but this can also be an awareness too of people around you it's like just being able to pay attention to that gut feeling you get when something doesn't feel right even if there's no like obvious outward indication internally you're really going off of what you feel and you are right with what you're picking up on i'm hearing this is too with energies that are around you that you feel the need to protect yourself around or ones that you don't want to be around for certain reasons, you know? And that doesn't mean you need to explain it. You can just say, I don't want to be around that. Because with the High Priestess too, you may not feel the need to be explaining things in the way that you had been before. This is something that you're working on. Maybe even with a particular person, this can be in your very close relationships, like this can be with partners too. It looks like this is something going on internally as much as it is externally, like you could be doing some intense shadow work right now, but this is also, like when we do shadow work, it also allows us to before we do shadow work there's a sense of like we project onto people and so we don't really see the truth of situations however when we do the shadow work there's a sense of being able to understand like your intentions and your own energy with like a clear clear mind and also be able to read that with other people around you and i'm seeing this be relevant to um a close dynamic that you have i'm looking at um the moon gemini and sagittarius here so you're working on something when it comes to your close relationships. I'm seeing something being worked out right now. It's like, I'm almost seeing one of those situations where it's like, you may prefer not to do the work, but you're doing it anyway, or it may be really unpleasant, but you're doing it anyway. Maybe some of it is also kind of out of your hands too. Because I am seeing something that it, it definitely would feel like difficult or stressful that you're going through. There's a decision upcoming that you're going to need to make. You're being guided to use your intuition. I'm seeing the two of cups below the high priestess. This is somebody that you feel very close with, but it's someone that... Behavior-wise is not showing up in a way that feels good to be around. Seems like this is somebody that you don't trust, someone you don't feel supported by, and you're, like, trying to work through this process regardless. The thing that makes this hard is that it looks like you have a really deep connection with this person, which can really throw us off, too, at times, because it's like, well, if that connection is there, like, maybe I should just put up with that. 
But yeah, it seems like because of this deeper knowing that you have, you're able to see this relationship more clearly. And maybe being more honest with yourself too about whether or not this feels healthy for you to be involved in. Because maybe you didn't want to recognize something about someone. This is like an energy where it's like, you get along with someone so well and you really like see yourself reflected in this person and vice versa and there's like a lot of intense like energetic chemistry but when it comes to the way that they show up it's like this is somebody that like really lets you down someone that doesn't show up for you someone that's not holding space for you somebody that's not really willing to be open in the ways that you're looking for and it does seem like a really tough thing that you're working through because it's like two very opposing energies. It's like energetically you feel so in alignment with this person, but then behavior wise, it's like, you know, this isn't a great environment for you to be involved in. Or, you know, it's bringing you down or you feel unsafe around this person even. It's like if you had to rely on them, you would really question whether or not they would be showing up for you. This can be too recognizing as well that as much as you do connect with someone, they may not be in a place to be open to that. Yeah, and like really accepting where this person is and trying to do that without judgment too. Because I'm seeing you like really working on your empowerment here even though you've been going through a very difficult situation with somebody that you're quite close to. But this is something that's going to help both your cur current and your future relationships. And this is about, too, you standing up for yourself. And if you're not being treated how you want to be treated, to be advocating for yourself. Because that's where you're going to find your happiness. And maybe too, you were like, my happiness is found within a connection with someone. And now you're like, my happiness is actually found within like myself and the decisions that I'm making. So you may be like associating things differently now than you had been before. And understanding too how you make your own happiness. Because it looks like because you're doing some really important personal work right now and getting through a situation where again you did feel really great chemistry with someone but the way that they were acting was like so not in alignment with you and what you had going on and you didn't feel empowered by it now because you're focusing on your empowerment and following your intuition there is a sense of like a relationship that's going to be coming to light but you have to wait and be patient and I'm seeing like I'm seeing that it may be difficult for you to be patient, to wait for like a solid relationship to come to fruition, but I'm seeing that's exactly what you need to do in order to actually have this happen. Because I am seeing an offer that's going to be coming through, but again, you have to wait for it. I'm getting waiting be very important because you have to complete the lesson with this person in the beginning of this spread in order for you to then be able to have like this other relationship that you want and one where things would very much feel like they're in alignment with you. So I'm looking at um, the moon, Gemini, Sagittarius, the sun, and Venus. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing and I hope to catch you guys next time.